Hey everyone, it's been a while since we've done a video on Hamza from Hamza's Den. This video was recommended to me by April Cox, so anybody else who has recommendations, please leave them in the chat. I will try and get round to them all eventually if I like the videos. This one in particular is talking to an atheist and it's about belief and morality, and it's a typical poor performance from the man. Let's take a look. Yeah. These people you take your information from who are academics, do they believe in the supernatural? Yes, and I, and I don't think they necessarily have to, you don't have to, because, you don't have to. because, it, because the point about belief is that it's a personal thing. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, well, belief is a personal thing. You think so? Yeah, of course. Of course yeah. so. uh, well, I, I, I think it. Oh, I believe oh, oh, okay. it. So, I believe that belief is a personal thing. All right, shoot me. Okay, what does belief mean? Uh, it means to hold an opinion about the way that reality is and how reality is structured. Why not? There we go. That's a, that's a oh, very oh, reasonable oh, claim. Oh, okay. You can often say that belief is down to something which you don't necessarily have proof or even a good reason to believe in. But yeah, I think the definition that the atheist gave was fine. Is that an objective understanding of the word belief or your own made up one? Uh, well, it's what the one that I believe in. All right, so there's no objective meaning of the word belief? Uh well, no, it can't be an objective meaning because it's a word. A word might have a consensus meaning in terms of how we use it, but it's not objective since being objective means something is true, independent of any mind. Uh, well, given that language is you know, transient throughout time and that belief changes in meaning throughout time, like saying there's an objective meaning of anything is actually very difficult without, right. so without here, actually a reference frame of belief, which is provided by things like religion. So here, so here today in London, England, yes. what's the objective understanding of the term uh, belief? Uh, what I Again, it's not going to be an objective meaning. It's going to be, at best, a consensus meaning. Just said because it's 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 for me. It's for me to decide. Right. Can a belief without proof be true? Um, no, because it's a belief. Really? Yeah. You don't believe a belief. That yeah, I mean, the atheist has kind of made a mistake here. He does correct it later on, but of course, a belief can be true without proof, but. It would be by accident, essentially, or it would be independent of the belief. The fact that you believe in something doesn't make it true. That's the point. That proof could be true. Uh, yes, I believe because it's still a belief. It's not fact. Fact, oh, and, oh, 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 fact oh, oh. and belief. You're, you're confusing fact and belief. You're making them the same. No, They're not. I, I think you are misunderstanding the word belief. Uh, right, because you're saying that belief is fact. Do you believe your father's your father? Ah. Uh, Oh, every time he's got to go to this stupid, you, do you believe your father is your father? It's so basic. It's so like a 13-year-old would argue in a playground. It just shows how emotionally stunted this guy is. And it's such a stupid comparison to make. Because what he always does is like, oh, well, if you believe your father's your father without definitively knowing, then that's the same as me believing in Allah. And it's not the same. You can make a reasonable inference that the person who says he's your father is your father. If, for example, he raised you, um, if you've got pictures of him, you know, going back to all when he was a little baby and, and the fact that most people are raised by their fathers who are their biological fathers. So that's why you would have that reasonable belief. It doesn't necessarily mean it's true, but it's not unreasonable for you to assume that. No idea. I just have to take him on trust. Do you believe it or not? Why well, I just take it on trust. No, it doesn't do matter whether I believe it or not. Do you I just believe take it on trust. I, I think it and I am... And I trust my I trust my parents. So yes, I suppose I. But you have no I proof. Suppose I believe it. Well, I have no no, proof. Well, I haven't done a DNA test. So I, but, I, but I could do a DNA. But you we haven't though. But I, no, not yet. Because right, I trust. Right. Them. So right now you don't know if your father's your yes. father. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Well, do I don't you believe it's certain. Father? I don't know for certain. But do you believe he is? Uh, yes. But does it does it matter? No. No. no well. So I don't you use just, I don't use my. No. But you just said. But you just said that belief without proof can't be true. So you have no proof your father's your father. So you're now saying you believe your mother may have messed about. Ah, uh, yes, but you're you're making the assumption. That's what that, you're saying now. Ah, uh, well, well, that's a that's a very very great assertion. I have no idea what she did at university, if I'm honest. But you know, we'll have to see. Right. Um, so, so right now, so you're in a position right now that you don't yes. believe whether your father is your real father. Ah, uh, but that doesn't matter. Okay. That you're, doesn't really. That doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's got nothing to do with your belief in Allah, your belief in Islam. This is just a again, it's a stupid diversion. It doesn't have anything in relation to any point that you're trying to make here. No, the thing is, is that I don't base my entire, right, right. My entire system of, system of, of morality and um, worldview. It's not in, your worldview is not based on whether your father's your father. No, of course not. Like, really? why would it be? I don't... Yeah, exactly. Why would it be? I mean, if he found out tomorrow that he was adopted um, and he was, you know, had some other biological parents, how would that change his worldview overall in terms of what he thinks is real, um, what he thinks is moral? What? That, that, there's no contingency on, you know, believing that your father is your biological father or not. I mean, so Hamza is just, he's got this dumb look on his face. Yeah, what the fuck does this have to do with anything?
Uh, I don't know. If you I, found out your father was not your father, uh, it might. Well, it, it might do, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't change how like like he he still he still raised me, whether or not he's my biological father. Or not. Uh, uh, well, probably not. But can you guarantee? You know, I think that's no, a no, perfectly no, reasonable no, thing to say. The point here is this. If a belief without proof, you just said a belief without proof can't be true. Where I believe your father is probably, probably your father. Yeah, I don't need I don't need you. I don't need you to do. Yeah, and so does the atheist. To be fair, I mean, again, he's assuming that. Um, but he's all he's saying is he's opened a possibility up for yes, it's possible that it's not true, but it most likely is. It can't test. be. It can't be. But you believing that and it being true, right? No, and not like uh, yeah, yeah. But just because it could be true doesn't mean it is true. Yeah, and that's the point, isn't it? I mean, that's really what you should have said from the start. But yeah, I mean, Hamza is basically doing this really knackered apologetic of trying to say, well, if I can get you to say you believe in something that you absolutely haven't got proof of, that puts it at the same level as my belief in Islam. So I'm somehow right or I've somehow won. It's a completely ridiculous argument. And that's the, yes, because the thing is, is I didn't that you're say, using, I didn't say that, you're did using, I? yeah, yeah, but you are using it as that. Actually. No, I didn't. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh. I said I could. You're, you're I said, using a no. situation which you're basically what you're doing. So you're taking a situation which is factually true, as in like it's not factually true. Well, okay, if I take a DNA test, we haven't done the DNA test, so it's not factually true. Right. Well, let's be, let me just say. I, yeah, and if you did go and get a DNA test and return tomorrow with it, then your entire fucking apologetic would just go down the toilet. So why bother pursuing this? Over and over and over, if everyone that goes to Speaker's Corner, he does this same bullshit. Let me just take a DNA test. Really no, but you haven't let done me that. Look at my, but you haven't. Right, look at my, let me you haven't. Here we but go. you haven't. Okay, I've taken a DNA so test. It's not yes, but he could. So that's the point. So it is something that's knowable. Whereas Allah, mm, I don't think so. Factually true. That's my dad. So it's not factually um, true. Uh, what you're doing so it's not is, you're, true. is you're using the idea it's not that... True. Well, it could be factually true, but he just doesn't know because he hasn't gone out to get the required DNA evidence. Can you provide anything similar for Allah? No, you can't. If if I believe something that, I, that is already that I already know to be true, right? No, you don't know it to be true, but I could prove it. You could. I, my might, point is, I can't. You prove, might be disproven. Uh, you can't. But I can't. You might be disproven. Yes, but he would know one way or another. The point is, it's like a, it's a falsifiable claim. Whereas Allah at best is just a fantasy you've come up with. You can't provide any way to confirm that it is true. And I think there's plenty of reasons that you can use to show that it's not, particularly Islam. That. I could I would I be you could be I could be right and maybe that's something so I here's the reality be. is this but you do believe your father's your father I, I don't think it matters whether I believe it or not it doesn't matter if you believe your no, father's your father it yeah it really doesn't uh, you know and if you had any kind of decent argument to make you wouldn't be using this it doesn't matter it's irrelevant why well because uh why would it why would it matter why like, would it matter whether your father your father what it would mean your mum's a tart wouldn't it Wow, that's it. That's... I mean, real classy there from Hamza, but that's not the point. Obviously, he's saying, what What does it matter in terms of the conversation, in terms of how can we demonstrate, um, you know, whether atheism is true or whether Islam is true? That's the point. Now he's just, like, taking it off into some other, like, general thing of, like, uh, you know, some issue of morality about his family or something, as if that's got anything to do with a fucking conversation. So that's only, what it would mean, wouldn't it? Only if you. Is that only, what it mean? Only. That's, that's not what that means. Only. 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 Oh, sorry, 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 only. Well, if, brother, your father, uh, if your father. If your father. Well, that's a very derogatory no, 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 term. No, no, no. And also, if a, a woman. Is she oh, not oh, free oh, to do whatever she wants? Yeah, exactly. It's her body. Yeah. All right, all right. right this right, is a science ownership. I mean, there's all kinds of problems with this now. I take back the words. Oh, do you? If you don't believe your. Sorry, if you don't believe your father's your father, that means your mother. You believe your mother was a loose woman and slept with a loose woman again. Oh, with the sexist. With the sexist. No problem. Ah, uh, loose women. Yeah, I mean, that was quite funny the way that like, Hamza thinks, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, instead of using the word tar, I'll, I'll say something, you know, much friendlier, much more polite. I'll just call her loose instead. Again, he's just such a kid in the playground. It's, it's so, you know, you know, so if your mother has sex behind your father's back, you've got a problem. Oh, it depends no. if it was consensual or not. <laughs> if it was consensual, it's fine. Really? It's it's cons if it's consensual, it's fine. Really? She's allowed to do whatever she so wants. You, honestly, are you is that your that position? That you're uh, well, what is your position? Control. Is your position? Yeah, I mean, I think they're talking more from just the point of view of that, you know, they're, they're for consensual sex. I mean, I'm sure in reality, like, if he did found, find out that his mum was sleeping around, yeah, he probably wouldn't be too happy with it. But, um, yeah, I think that's that's the angle he was probably going for. It doesn't come out too well in the video. But for Hamza to sort of pull the morality card on this is just really ironic, considering what Islam believes about relationships. That women should, women should be controlled? I, 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 I believe men and women in a relationship should be faithful to one another, yes. Oh, that's very hard. Yeah, faithful to one another, uh, and the second wife, and the third wife, and the fourth wife, and the infinite number of sex slaves. Yeah, real faithful monogamous situation going on there. 
wholesome. That's very wholesome. I think it's fantastic. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. But I think that's that, why. See, because we're having this. I'll tell you why. What do you think about Is it because of God? Should I explain why? Should I explain why? Is it because seventy percent of people in prison are from broken homes? Yeah. And extramarital affairs is what break up homes. I mean, I don't. So you should have a problem with extramarital affairs because. Or just legalize them, as in the case of the kind of Islam that he believes in. <laughs> so, you know, he's not getting rid of those affairs. He's just rebranding it as a second or a third or a fourth marriage or slavery. Poverty. Lights. I think I think poverty is probably a bigger driver than like the, the broken homes comes from things like poverty. No. And like all no, kinds of, of things. I'll tell you what break up Because people, because like a lot of very wealthy tell people what breaks up homes? will stay married, even, even though... They had, even though they I'll tell know you five things have, that break hey, up homes. Yeah, I mean, sociology expert here, Hamza, is going to tell you, you know, these are the five reasons that break up homes. And he's saying 70% of people in prison are from uh, broken homes or whatever. I mean, again, I'm not sure where he got that statistic from. He's probably made it up. Um, and again, not to say that broken homes don't contribute to that kind of things, but he's so cocksure. It's like, yeah, yeah, I've got the five reasons that break up homes. Let's listen to him. Let me finish first. And the, so I think there are a lot of things that, that break up homes. I think the main one is like is, is financial pressure. Go on, give me five then. Go on, listen Drugs, on. alcohol, yeah. gambling, sexual immorality, yeah. and uh, interest. Sexual Im oh, what a shock. The five things that you think Islam can cure. I mean, the, the irony is, right, and I, I don't want to get personal, but I am going to be looking at this guy's conversion story um, within the next week. So it's going to come up. But like, what was the reason that your home was broken? And I'm talking about with your wife and children. Was it for any of those five reasons? Did Islam prevent it? No, I think Islam caused it, didn't it? Because your relationship fell apart um, because you converted to Islam. So, you know, you're standing there so cocksure in such judgment on these things and your own life doesn't even fit that pattern. Immorality, right, we'll, we'll put that to one side. I think Because the thing is, is sexual immorality is something, it's like a... Using the word immoral, immoral right, requires yes. requires me to subscribe to your system of morality. No, and yes, society's uh, morality. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, your system of morality came from society. Okay, it didn't originate in the UK, but it came from Islamic society. So your morality is not objective. Because that is but, your morality. No, no society. No, 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 no. no. Yes, 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 everyone yes. has an individual morality. No, you you think you do? Everyone. No. You're well, we do. I mean, everybody, not everybody believes exactly the same things. I mean, you might have sort of a shared uh, a common set of morality on a lot of issues. That doesn't mean everyone's got identical beliefs. Well, unless you happen to be a Salafi Muslim and therefore there is just no independent thought allowed. Product of your environment, my friend. Uh, well, yes, that's true. And you're a product of your environment. The point is, is that we're, we're both, we both come no, from... No, but my morality is not from this environment. Uh, so... Well, it is. And actually, the atheists, I think, explains this quite well. How is your morality not from this environment? My, My morality is, is objective morality. Your morality is objective morality based on the word. Obviously, what I believe as a Muslim. What yes. you believe as a Muslim. So your morality is conditional based on your beliefs, which, of course, are conditioned based on what society has given you. Because otherwise, you wouldn't be... No, if, no, 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 you, no. So no, you're no, saying no. you were always... Were you always a Muslim? Of course not. Well, there we go, then. What do you mean, like, where we go? Because the point is, is that, like, until you converted as a result of societal I, oh, I, forces, I, 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 as a result of societal forces, then you adjusted your morality, right? And even... Society even the force wasn't subject to my morality. Well, because societal forces obviously like shape your morality. Why did I become a Muslim? Why did you become a Muslim? Yeah, I mean, that's the point. He's saying that the society did shape his morality. And that's the point, isn't it? Because in his conversion story, what happens? He meets um, some Muslim guys and then he, he changes based on these people, what they've said to him. Did those people come from society or were they just like magicked out of nowhere? Did he, did he see him in a dream or something? No. It's just, again, it's another form of morality that exists within the society. It's a subset of it, but you bought into it, and that's why you have mor your morality. I mean, there's nothing objective about that, and the claims of objectivity just from a theological basis within Islam are not true as well, and I'll go into that at the end. No, why do that? I don't know. Because I don't assuming, know. You seem to be assuming a lot of things. I'm not, well, I'm not assuming anything, sir. I'm assuming you converted. No, you're assuming morality I'm assuming, has something to do with you becoming a Muslim. I, no, I'm not assuming that. I'm you assuming did? No, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that you converting right. had something behind it. The only thing I assumed was your, was your conversion. No, you, you, you're talking about morality. Yes. And I, and I agree with you. I agree with you. Before I became a Muslim, my morality was also subjective. Because and now I had, your morality is objective. And it still is now that you've converted to Islam. You've just got a different set of subjective morals. Objective. objective, yes. But the point is, it's only objective in your frame of reference where you believe in, obviously, in, in your thing. Well, it's my so morality. The point is, but well, but exactly, yours is subjective. And my, but mine is subjective, and mine's not necessarily dependent on society. It's, ne it's necessarily no, no. dependent on the... Because you're as, as, as assuming that because... Let me ask you a simple question. What yeah. do you think about homosexuality? I think it's fine. Fine. 50 years ago, your answer would be completely different. Yeah, I agree. Why? Well, because it probably wasn't acceptable. Then. What changed? Um, 
society. Not you. But also, well, no, also me. Because the thing is, I could have been born 50 years ago, and I also might have think, thought homosexuality was fine. Yeah, and I mean, that's a good point as well. I mean, Hamza thinks he's got this knockdown argument with that. But yeah, I mean, the, the whole reason that um, society can evolve and we can extend rights to you know, gay people and, and, and women and etc. is the fact that Obviously, some number of people already believe this and they're pushing for change, which is exactly what happened with gay rights in the UK. So it's not just like, oh, you wind the clock back uh, a couple of generations and everyone is against um, rights for gay people. So, it, it, yeah, it's a completely stupid argument. As a lot of people did back no, then. The reality is the way, the way you're talking now, that you think it's fine for your mother to have an affair behind your father's back because she's a free woman. That tells me a, well, that, 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 that tells me you're in a millennial generation and mm. you think this is cool now. Now, 50 oh. years ago. I think it's cool now. I mean, really, we could just say the exact same thing about you. You know, your life was messed up. You decided to convert to Islam because you thought it gave you some, I don't know, discipline or help you get your life back together, whatever the reasons is. We'll go into them when I look at his conversion video. Um, but yeah, you, you came across it. So that just tells me you're from the generation who um, decided Islam was cool somehow. And now you follow the rules. There's nothing um, objective about that. I mean, we can all play that game. 50 oh, years man. ago. Wow, that's a lot of assumptions you made right there. 50 years ago. I look very young. Homosexuality was illegal. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, he's actually wrong because it was made, um, it was decriminalised in 1967. So we're actually well past 50 years now on that. Well, it depends where you were, but yes, in, in, in most, England, in most England. places. But it did, it did. You couldn't have anal sex with your wife uh, but fifty years it ago. Did, but it did. Now he is actually right on that, and this kind of goes back to the whole thing. You know, a belief can be right even though um, you know you got no evidence for it. He's got that right accidentally because there's a weird anomaly that um, <laughs> that kind of sex was actually not formally. Um, decriminalized until 2003 because the uh, original legislation was about um, homosexual men it didn't apply to um, uh, heterosexual couples so I mean <laughs> yeah even a stock clock can be right twice a day and that's hands are all over but it, 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 it was illegal you, you just couldn't tell people. but it was illegal but you things being it, but it, things being things are illegal that loads of people still like no, everyone no, no, like, but the point everyone is, does but tomorrow do yeah, I mean, it's illegal to own slaves in this country, yet this is the kind of thing that Hamza thinks should be legal. So again, I mean, what is this argument? But that's but your, that's morality. your morality. And we don't have to care no, about no, what your no, morality is. Just... Yes, exactly. And we, I mean, the only reason we should care about it is your desire to spread this horrible stuff to everybody else. But yes, why should we care what you think? Just because you label it objective doesn't mean it is. No, but but why, it's only objective for you. And the point is, no, only... no, 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 for me, yes. Yes. And yours is subjective. And I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> no, he admits that his uh, morality is subjective. You pretend that yours isn't. That's the only difference. Your morality. Right. So, so when we put is, sexual morality, so going back to the original in point, going back to the original, when we put sexual morality, because we've gone on a, a tangent. Because we have done. Let's go back to the original point. Putting right. sexual immorality. The original in point there. is this: the principle yes. that I established that a belief yes. can be true without proof, because I don't need you. It to... can be. It doesn't mean but, it listen, is. Listen, listen. Yes, it can be true, but that doesn't mean that the belief in it makes it true. And that's the point, because this is where you'd got. I said it before at the start of the video, but this is where he's going. He thinks that something can be true if you believe it. Therefore, he's got a rational justification to believe in Islam and to believe in Allah. Those two things are not the same. One does not follow the other. Just because a belief can be true doesn't mean that you've got a good reason to believe it, even if it is true. Let's take something like a flat earth, which is obviously great, since Hamza actually is not sure if we live on a flat earth or not. Um, you know, the idea of a flat earth, um, at, at some point in human history, it would make sense to believe that because that's where the evidence pointed. But once we improve things like um, uh, telescopes and stuff like that and the kind of experimentation that was done, um, going back to the ancient Greeks um, to confirm that the world was uh, not flat, um, yes, then you change it. But before that point, you could believe that the world was round but it still wouldn't be rational to do so until you had the evidence. So you can still believe something for the wrong reasons and it can be true. And this is the point. You believe in Allah and Islam for dreadful, dreadful reasons. Excuse me, sir. Do not touch I don't me. need you. I was, do not, well, you I was an accident. Okay, You're going like this. I'm going like this. Okay, we might we'll touch in the we'll middle. Yeah? Right. 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 I'll say it to you again. Yes. All right. You don't need to prove to me with a DNA test that your father's your father. Because I'm pretty sure you can bring the the, the uh, character of your mother to the table. I'm pretty sure you can bring the family testimony to the table. I'm pretty sure you could bring subjectivity and I look like him, have his mannerisms and such to the table. Now, if I want to no, listen, just listen very carefully. So for me, your belief in your father being your father could well be true. 
But you don't believe it could be true. I don't know. I, but the point is, believe. hang on, hang on, Sorry. sir. But well, the point. Well, again, I'm not sure where he got that from. He doesn't believe his own father is his father. I don't think he said that anyway. I think he's just confirming that he doesn't know it to be absolute fact until he's got a DNA test. So what the fuck are you babbling about, Hamza? Is, the, 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 point, the point is, the point well, is, sir, that, hang on, the point is, sir, just because father, something can be true, offensive. and this is very important, yes, I believe just, because, right. just because so something... Why you that and the hang on, wait, 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 are you Christian? No, I'm uh, actually. Um, uh, what's that? What's the one you're not sure? Agnostic. Agnostic. Yeah, yeah. It's not on the phone. Do you believe in a creator? Uh, no, probably not. Anyway, uh, the point is that uh, you just know creator. Just because. Hang on, let me finish. Just because something can be true, and this is very important for everyone here. Just because something can be true, does not mean it is. And that is the end of that. Thank you very much, Steve. Yeah, and he's absolutely right. I mean, he's done it in a kind of dramatic way um, uh, to, to, to do that final statement because he was getting interrupted. But yeah, he's absolutely right. And and this is where Hamza wants to go. He wants to say that if uh, because people believe things for reasonable reasons as well, um, that they don't know to be true. Therefore, he's got a justification to believe in Allah and he doesn't. Um, and the, the funny thing is, right, that guy, you know, he did a bit of a dramatic ending there. Hamza has actually titled this video, Atheist Gets Triggered, because of this. Now, I don't think he got triggered at all. He's obviously just doing it as a kind of, you know, farewell to the crowd kind of thing. Um, so if you're wondering why I put a clickbait title on this, it's because Hamza did the same thing. So I'm basically taking a piss out of him. I'm very nice to see you. Yeah, very nice to see you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So that geezer... Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of stumped you a little bit, didn't he? Because he, he did the kind of theatrics that you morons normally do. So, yeah, he threw you a little bit, which is quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> he started off the same old, same old adage, uh, atheist stands, agnostic stands, whatever it may be. They think belief is something abstract when it clearly isn't. Uh, he did. Where did he say that belief was something abstract? No, he's, he's clearly spelled out that belief and fact are not necessarily the same thing you could believe in something which isn't true you're the perfect example of it it's just accepting something to be true without proof i.e no he's accepting reasonable things that for most people in general are true like things like your parents are your biological parents it's reasonable to assume that until you've got some other evidence to counter that you believe your father's your father don't need dna tests you've got subjective he didn't say you don't need a DNA test. He said specifically to be sure he would need one. So you're just making shit up now. Uh, reasoning, family testimony and such. Then he went off on a millennial tangent. Didn't have a problem about his mum messing around behind his father's back. If she wants to do it, it's free. She's a free woman. Yeah, well, you know, join Islam and then you don't have to have a problem about sex slavery. Much better. Anyway, subhanAllah. That's why they need objective morality, not subjective morality. Yeah, you haven't got objective morality though, so... Because when you have objective morality, you don't bow down to man's whims. You follow God's whim. Ah, you see that? A little bit of a mistake there, yeah. You're following God's whim. In other words, it's not objective, is it? Even if your God existed, even if Allah was absolutely true, it would be his whim. Therefore, it's not objective because it would still be dependent on God's mind. You follow God's guidance, alhamdulillah. Yeah? So the point here is this. Same old, I've been in the park. I've been away since November and I come back and it's the same old. Yes, you have been deluded enough to think that you win an argument, which you didn't. I mean, that stupid golf swing. I mean, I do wonder if a golf ball hit him in the head and this is why it's like this. Oh, same old, same old. Atheist. Yeah, same old, same old. You can't make a decent argument to save your life. Just thinking there's some intellectual, logical, reasonable, higher ground. Yeah, well, he was all those things compared to you. I'm not saying he was the best guy in the world, but, you know, he, he still dumped all over you. And what did they end up doing at the end of all the time? Emotional wrecks. Emotional wrecks because he made a dramatic, like, leaving statement. That makes an emotional wreck. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, really, you should watch these conversations back, my friend, and try and get a dose of reality. Salam alaikum. Yeah, salam alaikum. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, well, there you go. I mean, just the usual genius there from, from basic Hamza. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this one. I'll have another one up at the weekend. And as I say, if you do have any recommendations for videos, please leave them. I do eventually get round to them. Um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.